I hope I can find like a, a drum roll sound on audio library. Maybe we should make one. We're not, we're not revealing yet, this is just the intro. Oh hey! It's me! You were supposed to keep mirroring, that's Sorry. cool. <laughs> <laughs> I am here today with my sister Jessica. She's here with me. You can stop mirroring me. Okay. Now. <laughs> We've been in lockdown for a couple of weeks now. And Jess has had, she's just been like raining the ideas down on us. And one of my favourite ideas of hers was to design tattoos for each other. So this is what, that's what this video is about today. I did suggest we actually get them tattooed, but Jess is a bit sceptical about that. <laughs> well, actually, if it was Sadie redesigning this, I think she'd do a really good job of my idea. I don't know about mine. It's kind of, I don't know if it'll flow with the body okay. It probably have to be in a really specific place, but I've got loads of body. I'd leave that to the artist. <laughs> Before we reveal our designs, let's have a little look back at us coming up with the designs. So I've got my sketchbook at the ready. Jess is in her bedroom, so we gotta be quiet so she can't hear what we're gonna do. My original plan was to do poppy from trolls in my own sort of style i've got quite like a specific sort of drawing style um but in jess's recent video she said that she wants to get like christmas poppy so i had to come up with a different idea and i sort of like mind mapped in my little brain what sort of things jess likes and the planet is one of those things. So I'm going to do a little planet eco-friendly vegan style design. And I hope it goes well. I'm going to colour it with Crayolas just because if I colour it with anything else it'll take forever. I've got my Strathmore sketchbook here. It's got a few bits in it but I like the paper good quality. So let's see what we can dream up. break I've just done the pencil line work on my design which you just saw I like it very much I'm quite proud of it I've been watching some Molly Burke who's a blind youtuber I really like her videos and I'm gonna line my drawing with a biro and then 
get to some colouring after I've had my juice, watermelon. Lovely. shading my design so the ideas that were coming to me to start with were all different ideas uh when i suggested this video to sam i was thinking oh i could do something barbie related or like sam is a barbie something like quirky and quite funny um i did have some other ideas for her oh i broccoli with a face and maybe some arms so I was thinking all these different things and I was thinking like this is all going to be quite funny oh just shook you sorry and then Sam decided to say that she'd ideally like something without a face so I was like mm, okay let's think of something else so this kind of does have a face but it's not too facey <laughs> She likes snails and I like the idea of it being kind of always on the move but taking you home with you wherever you go and who you are you kind of carry around with you. So the idea changed to the snail carrying around the house of Ace. Um, her being asexual, aromantic and then I wanted to incorporate either mushrooms or broccoli. <laughs> uh, broccoli being her favourite vegetable and then I kind of changed my mind. And I thought, she never used to eat mushrooms, and now she does. So I was thinking, oh, it kind of could symbolise her being more adaptable to change and more accepting of change. She just does struggle with it a little bit, but it's so much better. So all these ideas kind of came together. I'm about to finish colouring this, so don't judge it yet. But here it is at the moment. So it's got a little bit of a face because there's some eyes, but... It's not too much of a face. I'm quite pleased with it. I think I need to shade it to be fully happy with it. There is some cuteness in it. And my ideas make sense. The dog is opening my door. Dun -dun, Sammy isn't supposed to hear me talking about my design. Helpful dog. <laughs> I had a bit of trouble figuring out what colour to make our boy here. Um, but the internet tells me that these boys aren't actually blue, they're actually like greyish, brownish, black. So I tried to make that 
apparent, but then I sort of made it blue anyway. But it's all good. It's just design. And I'm quite happy with it. I hope that Jess is happy with it. Obviously, these aren't things that we're going to have to get tattooed. Uh, it's just a bit of fun during lockdown, a little something to do, and I've really enjoyed doing this. I'm sorry that the lighting when I was colouring the final part was really bad and you couldn't really see much, but I got a nice shot of the finished drawing and hopefully you get the idea. So now I'm going to wait for Jess to finish her drawing and then we're going to show each other our finished designs. Guess who's back? Back again. You show me yours first. Or should I show you mine first? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting really funny. What if we decide to do the same thing? I mean, it won't be that. It. Yeah, because yours has is, is got ace representation. Oh, Here it is. Oh, that's cute. Here's a vase. There's a swing. That's so cute. Oh, look at his little eyeballs. And I think, I don't know if snails have pincers. No, that's like extra little feelers. They've got like their eyes and then their feelers. Oh, well, he's got some little that's feels. That's so adorable. I like how you coloured the shell. How did you come up with this idea? Well, the first bit I can't remember. Of my first, <laughs> I can't even speak. One of my ideas was really funny. I was going to do like a dance in broccoli. <laughs> I would totally get that. <laughs> and he was gonna have like a face and eyes, and then you didn't want a face, even though he's he's got eyes. That's fine. Um, so I'll start at the bottom. The mushroom idea was because you've recently started liking mushrooms and you're a lot better with change now. So that was to symbolise change in your life. And it's got hearts in it, and baby loves hearts, and like my second favourite flower too. I did about ten different flowers there because it wasn't happening for me. Um, and then the snail, it was more like carrying ha a house is carrying your home with you wherever you go. And I quite liked the idea of being a house of ace because you're like bringing the aces together. Aww. And I wanted a swing on my house. Yeah, I like it. And I like this little pokey pokey. Yeah, that bit was inspired by Howl's Moving Castle. I thought it might have been. And... Uh, yeah, I did the flags and then I wanted to colour it in with the flag colours, but I also wanted the house to be gothic, so I don't know. That's so good. Yeah, I love just... that. There was I changed my mind so many times. So when Sam said that she wasn't keen on having a face, I did think a cat skull mm -hmm. and then a moth on it. I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to draw that. <laughs> so I changed it. And then I was going to do mountains because she was thinking about having a mountain on her chest. But I thought I'd be really boring to reveal. This is better than mine. I'll show you mine. We need the, the next Oh, it's room. Malfoy. Can't believe that. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Why is it pink? Well... It's, it's a plastic bottle, right? Yeah. And I wanted there to be liquid in it, but I thought seawater was too pure. This is like a, a political piece. So I thought pink lemonade. So it makes the water look kind of polluted sort of thing. That's so cool. But like I said, I don't know how that would flow with the body. So you'd probably have to rejig it. That looks well artistic. This looks more professional. I used a ruler. This is so professional looking. It's quite funny because when you told me you did a lot of lines, I was like, 
crap, she's done a house too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, now what am I going to do? And that's really cool. Uh, my original idea was Poppy in my own style. Yeah. With like a little crown on. But you said in your last video that you wanted Christmas Poppy. So I was like, <laughs> never mind then. Good. So then I had to come up with something else. Mine's like a lot less deep than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Mine isn't that deep. It just has feels. I don't want to put them together. Vote for your favourite. Mine's this one. <laughs> That's because it's yours. <laughs> or for you. Yeah. But it's so much more creative than mine. And more personal, you know? Damn it, I thought I had it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I kept saying to you, I didn't know whether I liked it. It's because, right, let me just... I wanted it all to be cute or all to be quirky. And then the bottom half kept saying cute and the top half was quirky. And I was like, it's not meshing. It's all cute, to be honest. I think it's all cute. A hundred likes and we'll get these tattooed on us. Let me know in the comments which design's your favourite. Tell me if we should get these tattooed and where we should get them tattooed. Because... I need placement ideas, you know? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Go check out Jess's channel. She's just started a vlog channel and we're hilarious. It's like Sam behind the scenes. I look like trash in like most of them, but it's hilarious. Her vlogs are so good. Go look in the cards, in the description, and we will see you next time with another video. Bye.